Now let's do a long question that has all the discounts and payments that we've done so far. On November the 3rd, the Springfield Power Plant receives 10 fuel rods. The rods have a list price of $20,000 each with discounts of 5 and 10% and payment terms of 210-115 net 30. What's the last day the invoice can be paid? How much must be paid? So first let's talk about how much we owe. Well, it starts on November the 3rd and we've said net 30 and that is the same as saying N30, but often we do just write net. The last day that we can pay is December 3rd, 30 days after November the 3rd. If you're interested in date counting, we will be looking at that in the BA2 plus. So look forward to a video about counting dates with your BA2 plus calculator. Well, how much are we gonna pay? Well, we have 10 fuel rods. Each fuel rod costs $20,000. And we also have some discounts. One is 5% and one is 10%. We put all of this together dump it into a calculator and we end up with $171,000 even. So we have two discounts here. What's the last day the 2% discount may be taken and how much must be paid? I just say we have two discounts. We actually don't get them both. We get 2% if we pay within 10 days or 1% within 15. We never get both discounts. So 3%, not gonna happen. We only get a 1% or a 2% depending on how much we pay and when. So if we add 10 days, we end up with November the 3rd plus 10 days equals November the 13th. Easy. How much do we pay? Well, it's $171,000 is what we're supposed to pay, but we take a bit of a discount off of there. 2% to be precise, which gives us a payment of $167,000 five hundred and eighty dollars that's a big discount if we look at it the amount of the discount is a hundred and seventy one thousand times zero point oh two two percent of that is thirty four hundred dollars so that two percent is worth getting if we're going to save ourselves three thousand four hundred twenty dollars almost thirty five hundred dollars Let's go back to this problem. We actually can't pay the entire thing at once, but the supplier offers cash discounts on partial payments. So what we're gonna do is pay what we can and then pay the rest later. So after five days, we pay $100,000. And after another 15 days after the invoice, we pay another $50,000. Now we wanna know how much we owe. To do this, let's start with a balance sheet. So November 3rd, that's our original. I'm gonna say within 10 days and within 15 days. Those are our different categories. Here, if we pay within 15 days, we get a 1% discount. And if we pay within 10 days, we get a 2% discount. So let's start with what we owe. We owe 171 thousand dollars. We make our first payment within 10 days. That payment is hundred thousand dollars. When we tried to do the discount, we multiplied it by one minus two percent. The opposite is dividing by one minus two percent. When we go this way to the left, we're going to divide. So a hundred thousand dollars divided by 1 minus 0 0.02 is the same as $102,040.82. This is a credit.
So we have a credit of $100,000, That's what comes off our account, which means we now owe less money than if we'd made that $100,000 later. We actually only owe $68,959.18. Now let's make another payment. This other payment is going to be $50,000. So let's write that in. But this payment was within 15 days. So we get a 1% discount. So we're going to divide that by that 1%. So 50,000, I'm just going to simplify 1 minus 0.01% to 0.99. And it turns out that the credit for that $50,000 is $50,505.05. When I subtract that from 68, we owe $18,454.13. That's going to be the amount of the final payment. Okay, let's just write down what we did. The credit is the payment over 1 minus the discount. The payment that we have to make is the amount we owe, or the credit that we want to get, times 1 minus the discount. I'm going to write that we never ever see 1 plus the discount. We're never going to multiply something by 1.02 or divide by 1.02.